Right. My point to you is, my point to you is, did, did Europeans do slavery? Yes. Did we abolish slavery? Yes. Is that in American museums, they have what are called slave Bibles. And what happened is that when they gave the slave Bibles to the slaves, they actually took out huge numbers of verses. So when they was defending slavery in regards to the Hamites or the people of Ham and so forth, yep. was that wrong of those Christian preachers doing Absolutely that? Absolutely it was. What I'm saying, Bob, you said that they had stopped slavery because the West said if they don't stop it, they're going to or we're going to bomb you to oblivion. Yeah. But do you hate Muhammad? Peace be upon him. No, I don't hate Muhammad. I don't know Muhammad. So how can I hate him? So he's he's, pre he's preaching something different to what you believe. So so what what I am against, and I'm not ashamed in saying this, I'm against Islam. I'm against Sharia law. And so the do reason you, do you hate it because it's not. Uh, uh, I, I hate I, you, I hate it. Yes, as an ideology so and as a system. Muhammad, peace be upon him. No, I don't. You see, you're literally. I'm saying one thing. Mm. You're ignoring what I'm saying and then you're putting words in my mouth. So listen to my words and engage with what I'm saying rather than just using it for your own soundbite. I do not hate Muhammad, I can't hate Muhammad because I don't know him. But I hate the ideology of Islam and I hate Sharia law and I hate it for two reasons, three reasons actually. Firstly, I hate it because it is not true and it leads people into falsehood. Secondly, is because it leads people into degenerate behavior such as abortion and polygamous marriage and persecuting and discriminating Christians. And three, because Sharia law is an apartheid system that would seek to make me as a Christian a second class citizen in an Islamic state and just as if I was trying to impose a, an apartheid system on you because of the color of your skin or, which is something black people have really experienced or because of your religion as a Muslim you would hate that system of law I don't think there's anything wrong with me hating a, a system of law that wants to turn Christians into second-class citizens so if I'm promoting that like what the things you just mentioned yep then you would hate me too because I'm the one promoting that type of ideology and that rhetoric is that your question? Ready to reply. So my, my reply is, is, as a Christian, we are taught and we practice making a distinction between the sinner and the sin. And we're taught very clearly as Christians, and we do do this. Everyone else in the world doesn't do this. Not everybody in the world does this, but we do. We make a distinction between sinner and sin. And what we're taught, and my, my brothers and sisters are confirming it for you, that they've all heard this as well, is that we love the sinner and we hate the sin. So as a, as a Muslim, as a human being, I cannot hate you. Even if you promote that I should be made a second class citizen, I don't hate you. I, want, I, I actually love you because I want you to come to the truth, to a better truth, that will mean that you don't teach that. But what you teach, I will oppose. What you teach, I will oppose. I'll oppose it politically, I'll oppose it economically, I'll oppose it socially, I'll oppose it culturally, I'll oppose it spiritually. So that's a straight answer to your question. That, 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 that to me, I think it doesn't really answer the question, but what I'm, or it, it does, but it, Thank you. the understanding is different. If I'm saying something like you should do things that are against your religion or your way of life or your culture, I'm mm. openly promoting that yeah. and saying this is gospel. And this, this is what I'm coming out with. Like for argument's sake, some people, they hate Donald Trump. Yep. They, ho they hate Donald Trump due to what he's coming out with. Yeah. And his beliefs and etc. and how he's going about things. Yep. And they say because of what he's coming out of and what he's promoting, they yep. hate him. Yes. They hate what he's coming out of yes. and they hate him. It's yep. part of him. Yeah. His rhetoric, his way of thinking yep. is part of him. Yes. If Muhammad, peace be upon him, is doing things that are against your religion and, 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 uh, and uh, he's pushing things that are against what you are about as a Christian, and saying that you should worship someone that you shouldn't worship according to you, yeah. then surely you would hate that and hate him okay. for doing that. So, so in, to, to reply to your point, as a Christian, this is exactly why I am convinced that Christianity is a better way of life than, than Islam. Because Christianity permits me a, a more flexible mindset. Because I make a... And I would correct all of those people that hate Donald Trump. They might... I, I would say, if you want to hate his ideas, fine. Hate his ideas. Hate his policies oppose them but don't hate the man don't hate the man for the game right you you play the game for what it is and what i think is that we need to make a distinction between uh, a person's behaviors and the person themselves so for instance using a, a different example i hate being i hate the fact that some people are addicted to alcohol 
right? But I don't hate someone because they're addicted to alcohol, right? If he, I, I hate the fact that we live in a society that promotes uh, premarital and extramarital sex, and there are people that celebrate that. I don't hate them because they celebrate that. I hate their celebration. But what I seek to do is to call them to a better truth. And the thing is, if you want to call someone to a better truth, it would help you a lot if you actually respected the person. And the problem with hate is that it undercuts respect. And, and that's the reason why Christians around the Islamic world under Sharia law have always experienced persecution and discrimination is because Muslims are, ta are not taught to make that distinction. And so they hate not just the Christian religion, but also the Christians themselves. And that's why there are anti-Christian pogroms, churches being blown up, Christian girls getting kidnapped. But I would oppose that if it was ever done to a Muslim. So let me ask you a question, Bob. You mentioned a good point when you said you hate the fact that people are drinking alcohol and they're becoming alcoholics. Now, as a Christian yourself, would you say you hate what they're doing? Would you say that it's God for you to hate the brewery? Would it be wrong for you to say that you hate the brewery that is providing the alcohol for these people to commit sin and do their drunken behaviour with? Is that wrong for you to say that? Right, so so this is, this is a question where Christians and Muslims disagree, because I'm sure you know within the Christian worldview, it's okay to drink alcohol. It's the abuse of alcohol that's condemned within the Christian faith. So in the same way, in the same way that, that lots of Muslims in this park would attempt to justify the continuation of the slave trade that's continuing in the Islamic world in Africa, where you can still buy black slaves. They, the Muslims would try to condemn that. They would just say, sorry, Muslims would try to justify that. They would condemn the abuses of it. And in the same way, I would condemn. I, 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 can I, sorry, can we continue our conversation? Can we continue our conversation? So, so I, I condemn the abuse of alcohol. That's what I condemn. So the breweries too. No, I, there's some. There's some. For argue, I mean, to cut you, sorry, Bob. There's some dr alcoholic drinks that some Christians don't go near, like the stronger drinks. So maybe wine they might accept, but the stronger alcoholic drinks, they're like, no, this is. So, so let me answer that question. Like, if it was up to me, I'd have tighter laws around alcohol, no doubt about it. Supermarkets wouldn't be able to sell it. You'd only be able to buy it in pubs, and you'd only be able to buy it with food and you wouldn't be able to buy it past a certain time and you would have to be there you couldn't like if you were there solo i'd have restrictions on how many drinks you could buy like seriously the drinking culture in this country is wrong it's nihilistic you know, english people literally have this idea that they have to live their week to the friday and then destroy themselves on a friday night with alcohol they literally say that i want to get annihilated this friday i'm going to destroy myself they say that and i'm against that right but for instance, just as I am opposed to that liberal attitude, I'm also opposed to Islam because Islam permits slavery. Islam permits the buying and selling of human beings as slaves. And I oppose that, and that's a much greater evil than the abuse of alcohol. A much greater evil. So was it some of the Christians doing slavery? In, in the past, yeah. In, yeah. In, in the, and they was uh, reacting it with biblical scriptures, them, talking about because the people of Amakurst and their second rate, etc. Yeah. Et yeah. So, so let me address that question. Right. Let me address that question. Do you see, do, do, do you see they're proving, they're proving exactly what I said. So to that brother that, that said that I was making it up, there you go. That, that's the kind of the behavior that I'm at you. Are, are you focusing on me? Just ignore him, he's got no manners. He's got no manners. No, so, no, no, in answer to the question, in answer to the question, did, no, so, no, I heard you the first time, I'm replying to it. No, no, I, I, I mean, you there, was saying, Amen, hallelujah, yeah. I wasn't saying nothing to him. Yeah, yeah. So but he wasn't, he wasn't doing what he's doing. Fair enough. Right. So, yeah, yeah, but he wasn't doing what he's doing, right? My point to you is, my point to you is, did, did Europeans do slavery? Yes. Did we abolish slavery? Yes. Have Muslims done slavery for 1400 years? Yes. Have they abolished it of their own free will? No. The only time the Islamic world abolished slavery was when the Western world pointed a gun at their heads and said, stop it or we'll bomb your cities. That's when the Muslim world stopped slavery. Saudi Arabia has practiced slavery for 1400 years. The only time they stopped it was in 1962 or 1964 and they only did it they only did it because the UN under western pressure 
said, you either sign this treaty or we're going to collapse your economy. This I don't know much of, Bob, so I can't really talk Google it anybody. right now. Just Google, when but did what, Saudi what Arabia saying, abolish slavery? What, 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 what I'm saying, Bob, is you said that they... they just because someone's black doesn't mean they know history any more than just because someone's white. That doesn't mean anything. Your colour of your skin doesn't make you an expert in history. What I'm saying, Bob, you said that they had stopped slavery because the West said if they don't stop it, they're going to we're going to bomb you to oblivion. But then on the flip side, you're saying that it still goes on today in Saudi Arabia. And the West haven't gone there and attacked it and bombed it beyond oblivion. So, so currently, the, the only places where slavery is legal in this world, the only place that I as a white man can go and buy a black child as a slave is in the African Islamic world, in Chad, in, in North Sudan. These are places where I can go and buy a black child as a slave today for less than a McDonald's. So why hasn't no one bombed them? You said right. that the West have because, stopped it. Because, them because the, 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 the liberal progressives at this moment in time, they don't care about justice. So it was an empty threat then, basically? No, 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 no. I'm, what, what I'm talking about is when the Ottoman Empire was forced to abolish slavery. They did it in the 1800s, and they did it because the British Navy said, the British said to them, the British and the French, they said, if you don't stop slavery, we'll bomb your cities. But it's still carrying on today. Well, yes, I, in saying. the Islamic world. And what I'm trying to say to well, you... No one's uh, and what I'm trying to say to you is that that's a problem with Islam. No, if, no, no, it's a problem with the West because the West so is the, so bad. So it's the West's fault that the Islamic world has continued the slave trade. No, what I'm trying to say I to agree, you, we should be harder on the Islamic world. What I'm saying is that you're saying that they haven't... They threaten them that if it's going to carry on, that they're going to in the bomb past. Them. In yeah. the past, what you're saying is it's still carrying on today. It is, yeah. So I'm saying, why have they not bombed them? I, 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 I agree. The Western world should be far harder on any Islamic country that still has slavery as a legal practice, and we should not be frightened to topple governments, and we shouldn't be frightened to collapse economies, and we shouldn't be frightened to kill leaders. Any leadership or government in the Islamic world like ISIS that tried to re-establish the slave trade, that tries to, that continues in the slave trade, I personally believe in Western intervention and we should force them that if they can't be the better human being that they should be because of Islam, that we should force them to be better human beings by ending the slave trade at the point of a gun. So when they was defending slavery in regards to the Hamites or the people of Ham and so forth. Yep. Was that wrong of those Christian preachers doing Absolutely that? Absolutely it was. And the thing is, what you probably don't know, but this is an interesting fact of history that you should go away and look at, is that in American museums, they have what are called slave Bibles. And what happened is that when they gave the slave Bibles to the slaves, they actually took out huge numbers of verses because they realized that if they gave them the Bible without editing it, the, the, the people would read the Bible and realize that slavery is wrong. And you can see those Bibles in American museums today. They're called slave Bibles and they're edited Bibles where they take out whole passages, entire chapters and verses of the Bible, because they knew if they just gave them the Bible without editing those verses out, the slaves would get the idea that slavery is wrong. And that says to you everything you need to know about the Bible. So yes, those slave owners and slave traders that said, you know, that slavery is okay because of the curse of Ham, they were wrong, utterly wrong. And that, interestingly, that interpretation, that interpretation is a very late interpretation, and it comes actually out of the Enlightenment, because, because the categories of race that we all think in today isn't actually a Christian idea, it's an Enlightenment idea. Christians had no concept prior to the enlightenment of these categories of race. Nobody did. Prophet in the Quran and in the Sunnah, whatever you do, expiation, free a slave. So if I have intercourse with my wife during the month of Ramadan while fasting, this is a sin. It invalidates my fasting. What to do? Free a slave. If I'm driving and I kill someone by mistake, free a slave. If I tell my wife that I don't want you and I am not even going to touch you, you are exactly like my mother. Then I feel remorse and sad, and I would like to continue living with her, free a slave. Expiation, free a slave. And it goes on, everything in Islam, free a slave, free a slave, free a slave.